right, so we're here at level two on Sue's training levels, and we are going to start introducing crate training. Now, so you may have thought about when you first got your puppy, are you gonna crate train it? Or are you going to not crate train it? Most people, I would say, know that when they get a dog, they need to get a crate. Some people decide, oh no, crates are cruel. I don't wanna cage my dog up. It is very important for a dog to learn how to be in a crate and to be calm and relaxed in a crate. Uh, you can go back to say dogs are den animals and they actually like it when taught correctly because dogs are domesticated and learning animals. So you can teach a dog to like or dislike anything you want. So one thing that you do want to teach your dog to like is their crate. Even if you don't use it a lot, say you are on this channel training your own service dog, you may think, I'm not gonna use a crate, so why bother and put the time because my dog's always gonna be with me? Well, think about it. There are gonna be times your dog is going to need to be put in a crate, service dog or not. If your, vet, if your dog ever needs to go to the vet to stay overnight if they had a surgery or something, they are put in a crate. If your dog is relaxed in a crate and knows what a crate is, then they're going to care less and they're gonna know, okay, I get put in here, I just need to relax and sleep. My owner will be back soon, not freaking out that they're trapped and that's gonna make recovery harder. Also, if you take your dog to the groomers, a lot of times in between waiting for you to pick them up and when you drop them off before the groomer can take them back and wash them, and, and uh, trim them if you have like a poodle and they need to be shaved or something, um, they're gonna be in a crate. So they need to be, they need to know what a crate is and how to be relaxed in it and not worry about it. Um, another thing is if you ever go to an amusement park, especially a Disney amusement park, uh, when you go on the bigger rides, your dog is gonna go in a crate and they need to know that, okay, I go in here, I lay down, and I relax. I'll go ahead and throw up a couple of pictures of me and Elsa went to Disneyland and she has to be in a crate. So as you see, even for a service dog, it's very important. And especially when you're potty training um, a young puppy, it is very important to be able to have them crate trained. So it's just a really necessary skill that I believe all dogs should have, service dog or non-service dog. So for this first uh, session, or how we start crate training uh, via Sue's training levels, uh, we want the dog to enter the crate with no more than two cues, vocal, body language, and hand signal. Uh, remain in the crate while, un while the handler closes and opens the door with no vocalizing or pawing of the dog uh, at the crate or anything like that. Remember, we want them to be relaxed in the crate. We want them to think, okay, it's nap time or it's time to chill out and take a break. Um, we don't want them to stress out like, oh my gosh, are you coming back? Are you coming back? Do I need to dig out of here? Um, because that's not crate training. That's just shoving your dog into a crate. So, so easy beginning. So how she says to do it is the first thing you're going to do is teach the dog about the crate and how to get in it. Uh, once she's got that down pat, then we'll move on to staying in the crate. But right now we're not working on that. Uh, first, we got to get her into the crate. So this is perfect behavior shaping. So this is what we're doing is we are shaping the behavior we want. So that means small little bits out of time. Put the crate somewhere where you can easily get to, uh, like a living room. Take the door off if you can or prop it open. Uh, you can take a bungee cord or a string and tie them open. The plastic ones that are two molded plastic pieces, you can take the door out of those and I would highly suggest doing that. Um, then once you get her going in just fine, then put the door on and prop it on. Um, because of how those doors are designed, there's generally a little bit sticking into the crate and if they brush up against that, as they go into the crate, um, they can close the door on themselves. And if you have a somewhat shy puppy, it's going to totally freak them out. So I highly recommend if you have one of those, 
uh, molded ones that you, you know, pop it out and take the door out for the first couple of times and then go ahead and put it back together after they start going into it and tie the door back so that she starts seeing that it's there. Um, but the first couple times, especially if you have a more shy dog, definitely take the door out. Um, the metal collapsible crates, which is what I have, which you'll see in my videos, um, the doors don't come off. So just tie a string around them and prop them open so that they can't close on your dog because especially if your dog's shy, like I said, that door slams on them, it's going to freak them out and you're going to have to take 10 steps back and it's going to be really frustrating for you. So what you're going to do is click the dog for looking at the crate first, then walking towards it, then putting her nose on it, then putting one paw in, two paws in, three paws in, etc. Again, we're shaping little bits at a time. Uh, once your dog is that far in, you could toss treats into the crate and get her in inside of the crate as you were doing before she got three paws in. Turn around and come back out as soon as they can because they don't want the door to close because that's what's scary to them. Um, also, something that can make it easier is putting a pillow in there. Uh, Zoe always has a pillow in her crate, so maybe by taking it out she'll kind of not want to go in it so I can show you some video. Uh, that will be playing right now if I have it. All right, it, this is a perfect behavior shaping. So again, this is what behavior shaping is called. We're asking for a little bit at a time. Okay, and then when she's that far in, so once she's getting used to that, you can start feeding her meals in the crate by putting her bowl in there or tossing a cookie in the crate several times a day. So you can totally do this unless your dog has some traumatized uh, past with a crate. You can totally do this in one week. It will be very slow at first because you're shaping the behavior, but once they got it, it's going to be ingrained in their brain and shaping, when you shape a command, yes, it takes longer to get there, but once you got there, it just stays with them more concrete and so much longer when you have shaped a command versus pushing them in and then making them be calm, which is what some people might do for crate training. Um, so again, I'm not gonna read the problem solving for this command, it is on the website, go ahead, click the, in the description below is the link for the website. You can go check it out if you need some problem solving. I recommend you go um, read this once through at least before you start. Um, I hope you, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you next week.